Hello guys, what is going on? It's Pad Paz and we are back with another video on this channel and guess what it is? It's going to be episode 3 of the script tutorial series. I know you guys have been wanting this for a very long time, so here we go with an episode. This episode is going to be based around GUIs. We're going to show you how to create a GUI, how to put an item into the GUI, how to put like a custom like player head, how to run a command, how to close the GUI, and little them sort of things on basically GUIs. So without further ado, let's get into creating a actual GUI. Right, so we're into the script and the first thing that we need to do is actually create the command to set up the GUI. So we're going to do command forward slash GUI and then the semicolon at the end to just to close it off. A new line, tab or four spaces, trigger, semicolon again, and then a new line, tab again, tab another again and then I usually do wait five ticks now the five ticks is just a little pause on the server so that everything can open up and run smoothly and then a new line and then you're going to do open chest chest being the actual GUI with three rows you can now the three rows is just the size of the chest obviously you can have it between one two three four five six because that's how big a chest can go and then we're going to name script tutorial now you can have color code you can call it whatever you want to the named i'm just going to keep it nice and simple for you guys to player and then you just want to save it and that is pretty much all you need to do to be able to open up a gui and let's show you guys in game so if we just do sk reload all there we go no problems whatsoever and then type gui Bam, it waits a couple of seconds and it opens up, as you can see, script tutorial in the top left hand corner, and there we have one, two, three. Now for script GUIs, to place items, it is a bit different, as you would presume that's one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, however it starts on zero, so that would be zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I want to place a piece of paper in this middle slot here, just named the piracy and that's all I'm going to put, I'm going to add a lore onto it and I'll show you guys how to do that so we're back in the script and to place an item all you simply need to do is do format oh, format slot now obviously because we want it in the middle slot it would be 4 of player this is for the player can see with paper now once again you can change paper to any item within minecraft named and an F and an L. Obviously, you can have color codes as mentioned. The piracy with law. This is adding a law to it. We're gonna add a couple of spaces and then six and an L. Bold again. Oh no, we're gonna do just and then six. Coming soon. That's literally all you need to do to have an item into the game, into the GUI. Sorry, and then we're just gonna add at the end to be unstealable. Now this just means that you can't take it out of the GUI and you can't just shift click it into your inventory. So let's save and let's go back onto in game. So if we just do a quick SK reload all, there we are, no problems whatsoever, slash GUI, waits a couple of seconds and bam, there we go, there's our item. Obviously we've added a couple of spaces underneath the coming soon to try and centralise it a little bit, make it a little bit more cool there. And yeah, that's simply all you need to do to put an item in. If we shift click as well, we can't take it out of the GUI. So it's in there for good, pretty much. Now, if you want to be able to click on that item and it closes the GUI, all you need to do is this simple, you just need to change something at the end and this is how you do it. So to be able to close the GUI after clicking the, the item, all you need to do is remove that and then to close. That is literally all you need to add. We're just gonna move that back. It's literally all you need to add to close the GUI. So if we just save that. Now let's reload the script. Let's do GUI. And then you just click it. Bam. Closes the GUI. That's pretty self-explanatory. Pretty simple to do. Now we're going to add a custom NVT. Like a custom player head. Into the GUI. So to do this. You're going to need to go on a website. That I'll link in the description. And it will give you like a custom NVT code. And I'm going to show you. I'm not going to show you the website because that's too, too much effort, but I will link it and I'm going to show you what sort of code you will get when you copy the code. So we're going to create a new slot, we're just going to put it in format slot 0 of player, so that's the first slot when you open up the GUI with player head, 
because it's going to be a custom player head and then you want to add the custom NBT part that's literally it and then once you go on the website you'll get like a custom code which I'm about to paste in because this is one that I've already got and then so it would look something about that I'm not going to lie to you guys it is to me it does look like a load of jambles but somehow it works in game but obviously this is going to be a pirate skull because it's a skull and then to add a name all you do is like before at the end oh at the end of the speech marks you gotta make sure it's got speech marks when you're pasting it in named and an f and an l pirate oh no we're just gonna name it pirate and then with law and then seven and an uh scary and that is all you do don't forget the to the unstealable at the end and that is literally it to do that to place a custom head into your GUI so if we just save SK reload all there we go no errors GUI bam there it is pirate scary and once again you can't take it out and that is how you place a custom head into your GUI now another thing you might wonder is how to like run a command afterwards now I don't have a command set up but this is the way that you would do it and I'm about to show you so if we just start we'll just do it on this uh, paper you would do to close then run and then open bracket it should do two make player execute so this is making a player execute a command and then speech marks slash the command I'm just gonna write hello it's not gonna do out but that is how you would create a command upon clicking an item in a GUI. Now another thing people might be wondering is how you get like a variable in you in your GUI. So you would do, let's just do, I don't know, that. You do a percentage mark, a squiggly bracket. I'm just going to name it piracy prison and then dot because this is the that's the end of the variable that we created a uh, percentage mark again player percentage mark no, not a dollar sign and then squiggly bracket and then another percentage sign this in the game will just come up with null as I don't have a variable set up another thing you may want is like a new line in your GUI so if we just go over here go to scary and then I believe it's just that and then and an, if we just do and an R to reset the colour code and then and an, let's free new line and then if we just save I believe that's how we do it so let's just test this in game let's okay, reload all no problem so far and then bam as you can see the variable it says none because there isn't a variable set up in that script and then there you go that's how you add a new line you do the I'll put the the alt code that I used in the description as well to be able to do that so yeah i think that is everything covered that needs to be covered on guis if you enjoyed this video please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for future content on this channel and i'll see you in the next one peace <laughs>